the first to know in SMP TV. My mom, very good morning, but in SMP TV. So, since our Dr. Mahmoud Bahomia, and the vice president of Ghana, are on one side the flabber for the new patriotic party NPP, Edin and Niswadim, who had told Ghana for Yenina and him said, Send a mea doom na general election you drew, na a de cocomoti we a femono, na obey Ghana man penia, numa or de beguna quemono, a bro a chene, a bebro a chene, and in tia say so. Na even crown as vice president, qua no more de guna quem cry in itia, na obey Ghana man penny, ankasa. Na na a NDC amano kunde, a say Doctor Mbomia Evishino, a son omo die, a mom sleepless night, a mom night me ye ankasa. Our bone said, and this ammonia corner attacks now. No more they call a doctor, Mamu Bomia, Effa and Vishia or Dian Dino. Nenna and a lawyer Paul Adum Ochri. I reflected back a quiddy a and this Julius Debra on Ukraine D. Eddy, a cutting year power. John Dramani Mahama, a former president, a possible running mate. No, this same be a maybe a trail look up to be a war a northern region and a voter. I which has to be and this stronghold. Say, Doctor Mahmoud Baumia, and his SMS now down to a good father, a mamu or mubuno, and his SBU, or moi, a driver ni any mate. Driver ni ne determine can or baby and fa, can baby and co, and a mate in there, ne to man himself or behave, no additive any sicker, and your mate no, and a bachelor, a driver ni say can or on fanfa, can or on fanfa. And no, na I reflect by say, Doctor Mahmoud Baumia. On whom to mean chair air is essence, not a cocoa fan with their own yet. So, what in the vision crab bar, not another cocoa fan cassette, the vision with the mingin to my Dr. Mahmoud Bermia, only to me be a beam. And see a nay, Dr. Mahmoud Bermia say, On one cassa one, oh, vision. I want to end this a monocono, I make cassette. I didn't know so on the vision one farm wise, excellency, not a cocoa fan, a membuno, nay, nay, or so on one cassa one, oh, vision. Yanko Nyanko Tilapo and much in summer or the two ja NDC Julia Debra and in summer or the two ja and on what president makes the decision. So if Mama Dubaumia says that I wasn't particularly excited about E Levy. So when I'm president, I will not do E Levy. And then they say he's running away from something, he's running away from the mess, he's running away from what? He said the president gave me responsibility to deliver digitization. I delivered it. The president gave the responsibility to another person to do that. There's economic management team, but it doesn't have binding powers. Economic management team was a creation of some very smart NDC people who wanted to, to build an empire for Professor Mills, an empire of political dominance and policy leadership. For males, that's why they did economic management team. It is for some clever people. It's not a creator of the 1992 constitution. It's not a creator of parliament. It's not a creator of the judiciary. It's a creation of some intelligent minds who wanted to create something for their friend who had been vice president. Everyone else after that thought it was a good idea. So they maintained it. It is truly a good idea. But it's not a creation of the 1992 constitution. So if a vice president who is chairman of the economic management team says, we are proud of the advice we gave. Not all advice was taken. Not all advice of the economic management team will be taken. It's a decision of the executive president who is directly elected by the people. Julius Debra is here. 29th October 2016. Julius Debra said, In every moving vehicle, there is someone behind the steer and a driver's mate. The driver determines which direction the car moves. The mate may have a say, but the driver takes the ultimate decision. In this simple analogy, President John Mahama is the driver. Dr. Mahama Dubaumia, a vice presidential candidate, will be the driver's mate should Nanado win and cannot have ultimate power. If he proposes something for you and Nanado says later, there is nothing he can do about it. Julius Debra was addressing voters. Uh, in the north when they were comparing President Mahama and this is how history comes to hunt all of us and this is where we will bring our presentation on the Mahama Dubaumia first part to a close and then go and look at some of the things he said there yeah. and then uh, I mean yes it's good it's a good time to introduce this one and uh, this is Guta President saying that Baumia's vision and I like the way he puts it I like the way he received it it is a vision of a leader we are looking for a vision a leader who is going to produce a vision for us. That's what we are looking for, isn't it? That's what we are looking for. Baumia's vision, he says, I am overly excited because this is exactly what I want to hear. 
It means he has been listening to all the things we have been saying. Dr. Joseph Obey is the president of Guta. That's Ghana Union of Traders Association. Uh, that's, that's what he said. It's a vision. So let's have all the visions and let's interrogate all of them. It's a vision. Is it not a vision? It's a vision. Okay, let's get now to some of the things that uh, uh, Dr. Baumia has said uh, before we get to do this. Uh, uh, before we get to, we, 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 uh, we don't have that yet. Okay, let's go over to, uh, let's, let's hear Dodo's preliminary. You have your vision, I have my vision. Maybe we, 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 your vision might be different from my vision. So he's telling you that no, there are certain things that President Akufuado did that he's not saying they are wrong. But he will have done his differently. So that is what he's saying. And I think the man has really arrived and we should applaud him for that. I hope uh, 2024 campaign is going to be hot. So we are going to hear what uh, I've not heard any clear response from the opposition yet. I'm yet to hear clear well, there's responses. They said that he's running away from the mess and that. But, but uh, not, not official. Our oh, President Mahama has spoken about it. Uh, but, but the minority in parliament have spoken about it. But what, where, where do you think that has put the campaign in terms of the con contest between Dr. Baumia and uh, President Mahama. John Mahama? Okay, P President Mahama, when he started, they were talking about a 24-hour economy. They were talking about what they were doing. But uh, everybody was saying, we are, we, are, we are waiting to hear what the Vice President will say. We are waiting to hear what the MPP will bring out. And now the MPP has also uh, Dr. Baumia has also brought out what he's doing. So he will do. So now we are going to weigh between Dr. Baumia's ideas and President Mohammed's ideas and we'll see uh, which ones uh, will, will be better for Ghana. So this is Dr. Baumia's vision. Do you consider yes. this as a vision? Yeah, yeah, I consider it as a vision. And it, it's, it is laudable and it's applaudable and I've heard a lot of people, Guta, especially the National Service I, I was not clear with when he said he would not uh, make it composite, but I've listened to a lecture at UCC and he has explained it well. Why he also agreed with Dr. Baumia when on he said that. Service. Yes, on the national service. Okay, let me get to the task screen and do uh, some short analysis before we then pick up uh, the things. That, oh, did I leave my paper behind? Yeah, I need to bring it. It's in my constitution. Okay, all righty. There we go. I told you it's going to be an interesting show. It's uh, 18 minutes at the top of the hour, 10 o'clock, and there's something else I need to say about Dr. Baumia. Before I show you the list of our selected uh, national service, which Dodo just talked about, passports, he talked about it uh, in a policy setting, private people, initiative in the rules, the constitutional amendment, the streaming of music, and the abolition of e-levy, emission taxes, and VAT on electricity. All of those uh, important policy issues, we'll be discussing them. But there's something else I want to talk about. And... Um, uh, please get me those uh, NDC MPP flag and Dr. Bamiya Jomaha. Make it ready. I'll, I'll call for it. There's something I'm going to talk about. <laughs> so, you see, uh, you listen to Fifi Kwete, for instance, and you see the kind of disrespect with which he approaches uh, Dr. Bamiya. And you, you watch Dr. Bamiya, and you see that, apart from his education, which, of course, began in Sakasaka Primary School, he appears to be a very well-cultured man. And we were talking about that this afternoon. And then uh, somebody brought out this tape. That this is, he said, oh, boss, this is your interview with him in 2011 or 2012. And he was talking in opposition about how politicians should not insult other politicians, why, how, why the contest should be about policy. And this is an opposition leader. So if you look at Dr. Baumia in 2011 and see how he has progressed up until now with that culture of I'm not a politician to come and insult another politician. I can call somebody incompetent, but I'm not going to say somebody's a disgrace, he's a fool, he's stupid, he's dead. Yeah, I, Dr. Baumia doesn't do it. It doesn't come out of him. He represents the true politics of where we should be going, not where we are coming from. This issue of vitriol is it, terrible, and that's why they say Dr. Baumia represents the future. Have a look at this one. This is me talking to you, but viewers, you have to forgive me on a few things when you see the video. Uh, don't laugh at me or how I look and all that. Don't also laugh at our studio. I'll tell you the story. That day, Dr. Bamiya was traveling to Zimbabwe. By that time, he was doing the Zimbabwe work. He was traveling to Zimbabwe. And um, he, he graciously agreed with the interview. So we had to rush and get it together very quickly. He gave us a time. We were late, about two hours later. And when there, he was still very calm. I said, oh, uh, sorry, sorry, Veep. We used to call him Veep. Anyway, that time, he wasn't vice president. He said, oh, it's okay. 
parliament this kind of presentation by a person who says i want to be president we have never seen it before and you know dr baumia had begun to change the landscape of our political expressions once he came into the picture since 2008 he had been using this policy lectures and stuff like that very effectively and people talk, called him a liar and all of that so i don't know we thought that he was not going to do that anymore yesterday was a total blast oh my goodness what you know i was chatting with friends this morning and we we're talking about this baumia phenomenon somebody said do you know what baumia phenomenon represents i said no he said give your child a good education maybe you're right i mean when the guy speaks you can tell that this is a look at his culture and as we we're going through the stuff, one of our young people found a video of an interview I had with Baumia in 2011. I'll show it to you. And you will see his culture. He was in opposition then. And he was talking about the culture of politics, how, how we should do our politics. You will hear him. He was in opposition. Usually opposition people, they don't care too much about culture. They want to get the government out so they say anything. This was Dr. Baumia in opposition. I'll show it to you tonight. But back to the story of yesterday. When you watch him speak and you are 17 years old, you can't vote. You are 15 years old, you can't vote. You are 24 years old, you can vote. You can tell that this ought to be the future. This is how the politics should be. Every politician should be able to give us a comprehensive brief of this is what I want to do about this problem, that problem, and this problem. And this is what I am doing in anticipation of this problem that may occur. The general problem is development. That's the fundamental problem we're all facing. Development and population. Because the more population we have, we can strengthen our development. But if you're not able to cope with the population, it can overwhelm our development. So the fundamental equation that every African and probably global politicians post-COVID are dealing with, that fundamental equation is the nexus between development and population growth. We need the population growth to bolster the development. But if we are not able to check the population growth in a certain way that corresponds to the development, the population growth will overwhelm the development and then we'll be called, they will call them development challenges. So we have a politician or we need politicians who can come and tell us that this problem, that problem, this problem, this is what I'm going to do. And I, in anticipation of this problem, this is what I'm going to do. And then they'll be able to resolve it. And then they can get in a politician. What am I saying? I'm talking about a politician with a vision. And that's what we saw yesterday. Politician with a vision. He put out his vision. This is my vision. He doesn't worry about, I'm going to attack the opposition. They are doing that. They are doing that. Yes, opposition have their role. Let them do that. But I am vice president. I'm running for president. This is my vision for the country. And then you can interrogate it. I was delighted to see what was happening on radio this morning. Everybody talking about everybody having something to deal with. Even NDC people who are opponents now, they have something to deal with. They can say that, okay, he said he won't do E-Levy. Okay, if he's vice president, he should cancel the E-Levy now. At least we have somebody who is thinking through something, saying that I will do this for tax people. I will do this for, please get me that uh, poster of the uh, Utah, the Guta president, please. I'm not, we're not speaking about it, get it. The Guta president poster. You know, so... He's able to, no, not, I don't need it now. I just, I just, I'm just reminding you to give it to me, please. I don't need it now. So he's talking about, I don't need it now, viewers, because I want to do this dedication before we go. These two institutions, they have given Ghana something, and I want to mention it before we start the program analysis. Before we get there, I want to mention these two institutions who have given Ghana Al Haji Muhammad Dubaumia. Two ordinary institutions have produced this brilliant guy. Two ordinary institutions. This guy is now the future of our country. He's the future of the politics. If we don't have him, we have to have another politician like him. You may not want to have him. Fair enough. But we, he has set the denominator for us. Going forward in Ghana today, we have to have a politician like Dr. Baumia. You don't like Dr. Baumia, we have to have somebody like him. If we love our country, we love ourselves, we have to have somebody who can think like Dr. Baumia. Somebody who can think through problems. Somebody who can assess the national service situation and say something about it in policy context. That's the whole point. Policy. What is the policy debate for the people who want to choose as leaders, whether at presidential level, at parliamentary level? What is the policy debate? Okay, I'm talking too much. Let's get to the meat because we have a lot to share with you tonight. Look at them. Glory be to these children because today these children have a hope. So these are the children from Sakasaka Primary School where Dr. Baumia attended. 
And the first dedication tonight is to Sakasaka Primary School. Look, Sakasaka Primary School, you have given Ghana something. And hopefully, all these children can turn out. This is how Dr. Baumia was. Many years ago in Sakasaka Primary School in Tamale. Sakasaka Primary School, God bless you. The headmaster of Sakasaka Primary School, God bless you. You have given us something. This is Sakasaka Primary School in Tamale. That's where Dr. Baumia went to school. Look at the state of it. Imagine what it was before. But this is the school that has now produced a future for Ghana. Sakasaka Primary School. God bless you. The next one is this. Tamale Senior High School. This is the school that produced Dr. Baumia. Tamale Senior High School. So between Sakasaka Primary School and Tamale Senior High, they have together produced something very significant for us. They have produced something very significant. Very, very significant. I will now take the analysis uh, of, of a few things and then we'll policies that he will take. 